This is the astrological update for Cancer for the whole of May. Now, the fundamental energies that play on your mind around this time of year are friendship and spirituality. You're on a journey to reconnect to your friends, to reconnect to yourself as a friend. And are you a friend to yourself? This is a fundamental, important question to ask yourself in May. And also, you could meet people or anything you do in terms of social networking is much more powerful than usual. So embrace that energy, take it in and move forward. And also you're opening up to your soul's journey, you're opening up to your spirituality, you're opening up to feeling what your life is all about. Let's start at the beginning where Mercury, the planet of communication on the first, enters the position for you of connecting with other people, making connections, joining forces with people. And we are all one, we are just separate individual unique parts of the whole. When we are open to connecting to the right people, it's like we send out a calling signal and whichever part of the whole is vibrating at that energy level should be drawn to you. Have faith in your power to draw the right people for you, for advice, for information, to even just to have a good time with or who are on your spiritual level and it should come this month. We also have a Mercury and Mars conjunction in the same place. So you're passionate about the people you're mixing with and you're passionate about transforming your social network and your individual emotional networks. We have Venus, the planet of love, going into the position on the 10th, which is for you about a higher love, about a sense of understanding your karmic connections with people, of understanding the way that you relate on a deeper level. Perhaps you'll even meet someone that you've had a past life connection with or someone that you meet if you want to term it a different way and you'll feel as if you've known them forever it's a very very deep and beautiful place for love the shadow side of that if you don't tune into that energy is you might find yourself really getting drunk or doing something maybe for the wrong reasons it can lead to rose tinted glasses in love it can lead to illusions in love so keep your beautiful cancerian pincers on the ground when you when you deal with love this month but also be open to the higher power of love and that means unconditional love for yourself and others we have a new moon which is fabulous because new moons are all about a new cycle and this new moon and solar eclipse is changing the face of your relationships and friendships with other people it brings in that new cycle of being able to mix with the people that are right for you that vibrate at your level and you know what people are contagious this is scientifically proven to be true, that we catch things off other people, ideas, lifestyles, energy, all sorts of things. And if we're mixing with the wrong people, our energy sways in their direction. So it's very important to mix with people that inspire you and make you feel good. Dump the negative people with love and move forward with this new moon. Cast out the seeds of who you'd like to meet as friends and open your arms to that reality coming true. We then have the sun entering your position of spirituality and enlightenment, also debauchery and illusion. So how you present yourself is very important. If you're not presenting yourself honestly, other people will see an illusion or not be able to relate to you fully. But if you're coming from the deep center of your soul, people will see that reflecting through your eyes. Very powerful. We also have a full, no, we also have a Mercury and Venus conjunction in that same place. So love wise, it's all deep. Then we have a full super moon and a lunar eclipse, which is asking you to be very honest with yourself about how you're taking care of yourself nutrition wise and in the way that you are in the world. Some emotional issue may come up, but perhaps that you will have a frenzied desire to go and do yoga or do something very, very healthy for you. But this, em this emotion, this peak feeling and also your intuition will tell you what you need to do to look after you. Venus and Jupiter are conjunct on the 28th in that position of you feeling the good fortune of love and spiritual connection with people and at the end of the month mercury the planet of communication goes into your sign so you're communicating from your highest place and then mars the planet of action goes into your spiritual center but be very very careful particularly in sexual sexual encounters if you're involved in any of those or even if you meet a new one that you're clear about what's going on i said you much love and i'll speak to you soon mm -hmm.